hello friends this is the another video of lipid metabolism in which we will be discussing about fatty acid biosynthesis in the previous video we discussed about the acetyl coenzyme shuttle in which we came to know how this acetyl coa molecule from mitochondria is made available in cytosol for fatty acid synthesis now in cytosol we have the acetyl coenzyme molecule which supplies two carbon for the growing fatty acid chain we have a atp which is needed to drive this reaction which supplies energy basically and finally we have a reducing agent equivalent which is NADPH molecule also in cytosol. All the three biochemical reactants have different sources like acetyl CO is from glycolytic pathway as we have already discussed that part. The ATP is from aerobic respiration you know that and we get this NADH from pentose phosphate pathway its primary source here. Although malate dehydrogenase also produce NADPH from the reaction of oxaloacetate to malate to pyruvate. But the pentose phosphate pathway is the primary source of NADPH. So when these three kind of molecules are present in the cytosol, fatty acid synthesis occurs. And we get fatty acids in the form of palmitic acid, which is a primary fatty acid. This palmitic acid is 16 carbon saturated fatty acid. Now let's see in detail how the fatty acid synthesis occurs. So now we have acetyl coenzyme molecule present in cytosol. It goes into two ways or we can say when it's acted upon by different type of enzymes, it gives us two types of molecules. First of all, when this acetyl coenzyme is acted upon by acetyl COA, carboxylase and in presence of ATP and HCO3 that is bicarbonate ions, it gives us melonial COA. And this melonial COA, when it's acted upon by enzyme called melonial transferase in presence of acyl carrier protein it gives us a molecule namely melonial acp and the reaction stops here on the other hand this acetyl coa goes through a process in presence of acetyl transferase and acp and gives us a acetyl acp molecule now in cytosol we have two types of molecules from acetyl coenzyme a that's acetyl acp and melonial acp now what happens here is they condense there occurs condensation reaction and the reactions from here are always catalyzed by an enzyme namely FAS that's fatty acid synthase enzyme it is a multi core enzyme and also remember we have these molecules and they have two carbon atoms in each of the molecules like melonial ACP has two carbon atoms and acetyl ACP has two carbon atoms and in the proceeding reaction that's the condensation reaction we will get a molecule of four carbon atom because two carbon and two carbon atom molecules are combining here and the outcome will be four carbon atom so in the condensation reaction we get acetoacetyl acp molecule a four carbon atom molecule and also through the process of condensation co2 is eliminated in the reaction and then after we have the fifth step that is the reduction process and in the reduction process the acetoacetyl acp is converted to d3 hydroxyacid acp when it gets reduced by nadph then after we have a dehydration step where d3 hydroxyacid acp gets converted into crotonyl acp where h2o is eliminated out of the reaction and finally we have the reduction again here where crotonyl acp gets reduced to butyryl acp a four carbon atom also here and then there is a series of cycles as cycle 2 cycle 3 and cycle 4 to 7 and finally we get a compound that's 16 carbon atom and on that 16 carbon atom acid the hydrolysis occurs and we get a palmitic acid that's the 16 carbon atom saturated fatty acid plus also we get acp that's acetyl carrier protein that has been introduced in the first part of the reaction so this is all about fatty acid biosynthesis how we get the palmitic acid from acetyl coenzyme in the series of reactions i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel thanks